السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين يا أرحم الراحمين علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا يا الله Today, inshallah, we will have our uh, seventh session and our hadith. We will cover two hadith, inshallah, today. An Abi Hurayrata radiyallahu anhu qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qal Allah, a'adattu li'ibadi al-salihin ma la aynu ra'at wa la uzunun sami'at ولا خطر على قلب بشر فقرأوا إن شئتم فلا تعلم نفس ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين So it is narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله عنه that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Allah سبحانه وتعالى said I have prepared for my pious slaves Things which have never been seen by an eye. ما لا عين الرات never been seen by an eye. ولا أذن سمعت or heard by an ear. ولا خطر على قلب بشر or have never been imagined by a human being. So if you wish, you can recite the verse from the Holy Quran. No soul, no soul knows what's kept hidden for them. Of joy as a reward for what they used to do. An amazing hadith, subhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنْ ثَمَرَةٍ رِزْقًا قَالُوا قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ وَأُتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهًا وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the good news, the glad tidings to those alladheena amanu wa amilu salihah, to those who believe and do righteous deeds. So believing by itself is not enough. Doing righteous deeds by itself is not enough. It has to be combined to, to believe and to do righteous deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give these people the glad tidings. He'll, he will tell them what reward they will have. So they will have gardens in paradise. So what, what are these gardens? Beneath which a river rivers flow so rivers flow beneath these gardens so imagine you have a house and next to your house so there is a river you will enjoy this at the sea the scenery but now imagine that this river goes under or build beneath these gardens that you will that you will be enjoying. كلما رزقوا منها من ثمرة رزقا قالوا so whenever they are provided which uh, they whenever they are provided uh, with a provision of fruit. Thamaratin rizqan, so special one, a provision of fruit. So they will say, 
هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل they would say oh this is what we were provided with before and of course they mean that in dunya in this life so if they are offered a mango then they will say oh we have we had mangoes before but what does what does what's the difference وَأُوتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهَا It is given to them in likeness, likeness only. So it looks like a mango, but the taste is completely different. وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ And uh, they will have therein in paradise, they will have purified spouses. وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And they will abide there eternally. There is no death. They are going to stay there forever. So, if we look uh, <clears throat> a little bit on the Arabic word, jannat. So the word jannat in Arabic means gardens in paradise. And this word is plural. It indicates the variety. It indicates the abundance in reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared to his righteous slaves. Who are those righteous slaves? Those are the ones who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who, who did righteous deeds. In our life, there are some favors for people that others do not have. <clears throat> so some people are, are favored with knowledge. Others are favored with money. Another group is favored with health and so on. So Allah gives something special to some people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Isra, انظر كيف فضلنا بعضهم على بعض وللآخرة أكبر درجات وأكبر تفضيلا. So look how we have favored in provision some of them over others. And this is in dunya. This is in this life. وَلَلْآخِرَةُ أَكْبَرُ دَرَجَاتٍ But the hereafter is greater in degrees of difference. وَأَكْبَرُ تَفْضِيلًا And greater in distinction. So there are ranks. There are maqams. And we all get into, uh, we all get into Jannah by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one gets to Jannah by his deeds, but by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. And they said, even you, Ya Rasulullah, حتى أنت يا رسول الله قال نعم إلا أن يتغمدني الله برحمته أن أن let Allah سبحانه وتعالى envelops us with with envelops me in his mercy then no one I will not be in Jannah so everyone gets into Jannah by the mercy of Allah سبحانه وتعالى but the difference in the maqams of Jannah, in Jannah, 
in paradise is according to one to to deeds to our deeds in dunya how good did this person do what what how much how much uh, of uh, night prayer did he do how about quran so the difference between one step in akhirah and the other is like the distance between the earth and the sky. On the day of judgment, it is said to a person, so recite and rise. So the more you memorize in this dunya of the Quran, the higher your maqam will be. And the reward in each level in paradise is so vast and so different. So what you see in one uh, level in Jannah, you will not see in the other. There will be completely different things in the higher maqam. And the highest of all these levels of paradise is called Iligin. So, so this is the highest of all levels in paradise. Iligin. So when you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask, do not ask for Jannah. Do not ask just to enter Jannah. Ask for Al Firdaus Al A'la. Ask for Aliyin. You are asking the most generous. So ask of the highest you can imagine. Ask of the highest you can think of. Do you know what is the greatest reward in paradise? This will be. The uh, the answer will be given to this question a little later when we talk about the second hadith. But I want you to think about it. What is the greatest reward in paradise? So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Sajda, فلا تعلم نفس ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين جزاء بما كانوا يعملون. No soul knows what has been hidden for them of comfort for eyes of coolness of an eye as a reward for what they used to do. So. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared a lot, has made paradise a place of uh, happiness, a place of uh, eternity. Everything there will be enjoyed eternally. So what is in Jannah what is in paradise, not a single soul can imagine. Not a single soul knows what is there. So there is no words to express what is there. And there is no sense to, to know what is there. كلما رزقوا منها من ثمرة رزقا قالوا هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل وأتوا به متشابه. So when they are provided with with a provision of fruit, as we just mentioned, they will say, oh, we have, we know this. We have, we have been provided this before. But it's so different. It is given to them in likeness only. So they think. There is a likeness in, in the fruit of uh, the fruit of dunya and the fruit of paradise. 
But the fruit of paradise is not, is not the same as the fruit of dunya. Not in its uh, taste, not in its smell. So the, the appearance is the same, is similar, but the taste is completely different. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a picture about everything that is in the unseen world. But he is giving us this uh, thing in words that we can understand. So there is mango and we have mango here, but it's completely a different type of mango. So we are thinking of the unseen, but one day this unseen will be reality. And in paradise, everything that a soul would wish will be granted. So when, when it said, مَا لَا عَيْنُ الرَّأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ The eye can see, but it can see uh, uh, in something limited. How? You can look to the front and you can see. You can look to your right and you can see, to your left you can see, but you cannot see what's behind you. Whereas hearing is way wider than seeing. How? You can see, uh, you can hear things that you do not see. You can hear a sound from the back, even if you are not looking at it. So you can hear more than you can see. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, or Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, مَا لَا عَيْنُ الرَّاتِ وَلَا أُذُنًا سَمِعَاتِ It's not an eye has ever seen or an ear has ever heard of. وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرٍ So if anyone im imagining, he is imagining things, even in imagination, they will not get there. They will not get the real imagination of Al-Jannah. Things that the eye has never seen. Things that the ear has never heard of. Things that no one could have imagined. So, in the language of people, there are no words to express what is in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Muhammad, now just giving us examples of the like of what we have in Jannah. مثل الجنة التي وعد المتقون فيها أنهار من ماء غير آسن وأنهار من لبن لم يتغير طعمه وأنهار من خمر لذة للشاربين وأنهار من عسل مصفى ولهم فيها من كل الثمرات ومغفرة من ربهم so the description of paradise, which the righteous people are promised, there in paradise, there are rivers of water and altered. So the water is not still. وَأَنْهَارٌ مِنْ لَبَنٍ لَمْ يَتَغَيَّرْ طَعْمُهُ 
and rivers, there are rivers of milk, the taste of which never changes, never changes. And there are rivers of wine. And this, this type of rivers, these are delicious to those who, who drink it. And there are rivers of purified honey. And there in paradise, there will be, they will have from all kinds of fruits. And they will have forgiveness from their Lord. So everything is halal to enjoy. Wine is halal. It's not the same as the wine of dunya. The wine of dunya, when they when people drink wine, they would take a small sip and they will swallow it immediately. So they don't they don't uh, feel the bitterness uh, of of the of the wine. The the smell of uh, the the taste of the wine. But the rivers of wine in, in paradise, they're delicious for those who drink it. Halal sar. Everything is halal there. When we go to, when we visit uh, a rich person um, in his mansion, we see in the garden, uh, there is a gardener who works nicely and uh, very professionally in organizing the flowers, arranging uh, where to put each, uh, each type of flower, uh, where to plant the trees. So we, we sit in this garden and we hate to leave it. So this is the garden that people has, have, uh, have made. So what about the gardens that were made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How beautiful these gardens will be. How enjoyable this, these gardens will be. So of, of the uh, uh, of the beauty of this, this uh, paradise, of the gardens in paradise, that the rivers go through it. It's the beauty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Rivers, the different types of rivers might share the same lane. Rivers of milk, rivers of uh, honey, rivers of water, rivers of wine. They have the same lane, but they do not get mixed. He created and he perfected. In dunya, when, when we enjoy things, this enjoyment is not complete. It's not perpetual. Either the blessing might uh, might be taken away from you, so the enjoyment is taken away. And an example for this: uh, one person might be super duper rich. And with one click of the on his stocks, he will be bankrupt. So the blessing of money that he used to have, the blessing of wealth, is no longer there. 
So the 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 pleasure of having this this uh, blessing is not there anymore. He's bankrupt. So the enjoying of things in dunya is not perpetual. But in Akhirah, the day after, it's a completely different story. There you will, you will be interested and you will be enjoying everything in, in, in paradise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you a, a, a better thing by giving you what? Eternity. So the blessing will not be taken away from you. And you will not leave it even by death. So there is no death in Akhirah. In Akhirah, death will be brought as a, uh, on a, uh, as a shape of a sheep and it will be slaughtered. So there is no death. And the people of paradise will be in paradise eternally. And the people of hellfire will be in hellfire eternally. It's eternal life. Now, if we, if we look at the uh, uh, Holy Quran, if we examine the ayahs of the Holy Quran, there are so many ayahs that talk about uh, the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared. So in, uh, in one of the ayahs, Allah uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَمَسَاكِنَ طَيِّبَةً فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنٍ وَرِضْوَانٌ مِنْ اللَّهِ, من الله أَكْبَرُ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ السورة التوبة Ayah 72. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised. Allah has promised. Who? The believing, the believing men and the believing women. He has promised them جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار Gardens beneath which rivers flow خالدين فيها And they will abide there eternally ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن He also promised the believing men and the believing women, he promised them pleasant dwellings in gardens of perpetual residence. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised, has prepared for his righteous people. وَرِضْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ but the approval, uh, the approval from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater. And it is that, it's that which is the great attainment. So in another surah, Allah in Surah al naba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is saying 
إن للمتقين مفازا حدائق وأعنابا وكواعب أترابا وكأسا دهاقا لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا So indeed for the righteous is attainment إن للمتقين مفازا Those are the winners. So what has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for them? Hadaiqa wa a'naba. Gardens and grapevines. Wa kawa'iba atraba. And full-breasted companions of equal age. Wa ka'san dihaqa. And a full cup. So what's there? What do they hear? لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا. No ill speech will they hear there in paradise or any falsehood. Not a single lie. No uh, just uh, garbage speech. No ill speech. No, nothing. So what is this? جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا. This is a reward from your Lord. This is a, a generous gift that has been prepared by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and made due by account. They did, they, they were righteous, they did good, they will find good. This is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is the, the just. An Abi Sa'id wa an Abi Hurayr radiyallahu anhuma an Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Iza dakhla al-jannata yunadi Iza dakhla ahlu al-jannati al-jannata yunadi munadin إن لكم أن تحيوا فلا تموتوا أبدا وإن لكم أن تصحوا فلا تسقموا أبدا وإن لكم أن تشبعوا فلا وإن لكم أن تشبوا فلا تهرموا أبدا وإن لكم أن تنعموا فلا تبأسوا أبدا سوف سعيد وأبو هريرة May Allah be pleased with them, reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when, um, when the dwellers of Jannah enter Jannah, the people of Jannah now are in Jannah. An announcer will call. إِنَّ لَكُمْ أَنْ تَحْيَوْ فَلَا تَمُوتُوا أَبَدًا You have the promise from Allah that you will live therein and you will never die. You will never die. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ أَنْ تَصُحُّوا فَلَا تَسْقَمُوا أَبَدًا And you will stay healthy there in, in paradise and you will never get sick. You will never fall ill. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ أَنْ تَشُبُّوا فَلَا تَهْرَمُوا أَبَدًا And you will stay young. You never become old. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ أَنْ تَنْعَمُوا فَلَا تَبْأَسُوا أَبَدًا And you will be under constant bliss. And you will never feel miserable. Never. So whoever obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will get that reward. So each and every person will, will, will be rewarded as per their deeds or will be punished as per their deeds. So we are looking forward the blessings of Akhirah. So what should we do to be there? We have to, 
to get connected truly to, to the salah. We have to perform the salah and not only to pray. To, 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 to pray. We have to perform the prayer. So what's the difference? Perf uh, praying is just doing the movements up, down, up, down. But performing the prayer is to have complete khushua, complete awareness when you are praying. So this is one of the ways. Qira'at uh, al-Qur'an, just, just reciting the Qur'an. Praying at night when people are, are asleep. Perfecting your job. So there are so many ways that we can do just to, to, to get to the uh, blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for those whom he is pleased with. So we have always to think and to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. Even if there is no one around us. But Allah is with us. He's overwatching all our actions. Everything. Now, I uh, asked a question earlier, and I think it's time to answer this question. Do you know what is the greatest reward in paradise? It is Allah's looking at his righteous winners, at his righteous slaves. It's greater than any other reward, such as the reward of eating, drinking, getting married, any, any other type of enjoyment. The greatest win in paradise is looking uh, is Allah is looking at his righteous slaves at those who are winners and this leads us to our next hadith an abi sa'id al khudri qal qal rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna allaha yaqulu li ahli al janna ya ahli al janna يقولون لبيك ربنا وسعديك فيقول هل رضيتم فيقول وما لنا لا نرضى وقد أعطيتنا ما لم تعط أحدا من خلقك فيقول أنا أعطيكم أفضل من ذلك قالوا يا ربي وأي شيء أفضل من ذلك يقول أحل عليكم رضواني فلا أسخط عليكم بعده أبدا so Abu Sa'id, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri narrated that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah says to the people of paradise, oh, the people of paradise, and they will, and they will say, labbaik, لبيك يا Lord لبيك وسعديك and Allah will say are you pleased so are you pleased with that, with with uh, your reward and they will say why should we not be pleased since you have given us what you have not given to any one of your of your creation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say I will give you something better than that. And they will reply, Oh, our Lord, uh, and what is better than that? What is better than all the blessings that we have? And Allah will say, I will bestow my pleasure and content, con uh, contentment upon you so that I will never be angry with you forever. Subhanallah. 
So this is one of the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the highest, the highest than any other reward. Another one when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Qiyamah, وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ نَاظِرُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَاظِرُ So faces on the day of judgment will be radiant. They will be looking at their Lord. Ya Allah. Those are the faces of the winners. Those are the faces of the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً وَلَا يَرْهَقُوا وُجُوهَهُمْ قَتَرٌ وَلَا ذِلَّةٌ أُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ So for them who have done good is the best reward and extra. So they will be rewarded and there will be something extra. وَلَا يَرْهَقُوا وُجُوهَهُمْ قَتَرٌ وَلَا ذِلَّةٌ No darkness will cover their faces, nor humiliation. أُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ Those are the companions of paradise. Those are the people of paradise. And they will abide therein eternally. They will be there. هم فيها خالدون forever. So الحسنى لل... what's, what's الحسنى? الحسنى is الجنة. للذين أحسنوا الحسنى. So for those who do good, the reward there, there is the حسنى reward, which is الجنة. وزيادة and the زيادة something extra, is to see the one who, who has given you these blessings. This is the ziyada. So, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to make us of those whom he said about them. Radiyallahu anhum wa radu anha. Allah is pleased with them. And they are pleased with him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them for their actions, for their deeds that they have done in, in dunya. And they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are pleased with, with what Allah has prepared for them. Radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhum. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of this group. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be, to be pleased with our children. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us all to what makes him pleased with us. We ask him to guide us to the sirat al-mustaqim, to the straight path. We ask him to connect us with him, to connect us with his habib, to connect us with Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask him to connect us with the Quran so we will receive the light of Allah. We will receive the light of Sayyidina Muhammad. We will receive the light of the Quran. With this, we come to the conclusion of our session for today. 
And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be happy with us, to be pleased with us. And until we meet next week, inshallah, I send my salam, my best salam, your best salam, your salawat and my salawat to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.